everybody, um, my name is Jennifer Lee. I am a lifestyle counselor here at the Center for Community Health and Prevention. And today I am going to be walking you guys through a really delicious, super cozy um, crock pot dish. It's called a chicken lemon orzo soup. Um, and I don't know about you, but when it comes um, September, uh, October, those colder months, I start to get really um, into cozy vibes, <laughs> and that includes my food choices as well. So um, a crock pot dish, um, whether that be a chili or a soup, um, is a really great option if you're looking for something that's pretty minimal effort, um, kind of grab and go situation. You put it together really fast, and you can go do your work and come back for a nice hot meal. So. Um, this dish today is a mixture of um, lean proteins with the chicken, um, adding some fiber in from the veggies, and um, the whole wheat or or orzo, <laughs> the whole wheat orzo that we'll use. Um, so first of all, I went ahead and pre-cut um, my chicken into one inch, one inch strips, and I went ahead and cooked them in advance. So my chicken um, is a... I, I mean, you can use anything from a pound to a half a pound. Um, so I have it cooked hot and ready here. So I am just going to go ahead and add that to my crock pot. So make sure to be um, careful because it is still a little hot and steamy. Okay. So you just want to cook the chicken a little bit. Um, mine is a little bit browned. It took about four to five minutes, not anything um, to strenuous there. And once we have our, our chicken in the crock pot, then you want to go and add in some of the spices, some of the veggies that are going to be cooked over a long period of time, and then the, the liquid. So um, for this recipe, um, I'm adding about two cups of onion, some uh, about a cup of celery and a cup of carrots. Um, what I really love about crock pot dishes is that it can really be customizable as well. So let's say, for example, you wanted to add um, broccoli in there or you wanted to take away the carrots and add some peas. Like there, there's a lot of different veggies that you can add in and it wouldn't taste the flavor or the texture of the dish too much. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my two cups of onions to this. And then again, my <laughs> pre-cut celery and um, carrots, I'm gonna add to the dish. Also what I was thinking, um, and unfortunately I didn't um, think about it when I went to the grocery store, but another way to make this a really, it really simple is by getting frozen um, veggies as well. So if you wanted to grab um, either pre-cut, not frozen veggies to simply add them to the crock pot, or if you wanted to um, get frozen um, veggies and add them to the crock pot, I think that that would work just as well. But today we have fresh cut uh, veggies that I'm gonna add. Okay, so then comes the spices. So I have about two tables or teaspoons, teaspoons of oregano that I'm gonna add. Um, one about one-ish teaspoon, maybe a little bit more than one teaspoon of salt and um, a half a teaspoon of pepper that I'm gonna add. Okay. And then um, we're gonna add one bay leaf here and some rosemary just for fun. I also have some uh, thyme that I'm gonna add as well. I think spices are really fun to play around with. Um, in crock pot dishes. So I'm just gonna add just a little bit, maybe a pinch of rosemary. If you don't have rosemary, that's fine. I just had it around that I wanted to add. And then I'm gonna go grab two springs of thyme. I have a trusty herb garden over there, so I'm just gonna add some thyme. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is add in some chicken broth. Um, here you can substitute chicken broth for vegetable broth if you want. Um, I got the organic free range chicken broth. You can also use a low sodium um, or you can use the non-organic one, whatever one suits your needs. So we're going to add about six cups of this to this crock pot. 
So um, one of these is a quart, which is four cups of chicken breast. So I'm just gonna, um, after adding this quart, I'm just gonna eyeball the second container. Just gonna add that in. Okay. And then for the second container, I'm gonna shake it a little bit. And again, I don't wanna add this whole thing. I just want two cups extra to make that six cups. So I'm going to just eyeball it and add a little bit more. Okay. All right. The next thing that we're gonna add is a little bit of garlic. So my garlic, I um, am lucky and I just pre-process it beforehand, but we're gonna add in um, two or three, depending on how garlic you want it, um, crushed garlic pieces into this dish. So I'm just gonna get one of these and add a little bit of garlic. And I, when I cook, I really like to be experimental, like not too precise. I think you can get away with a lot of um, guess work here. So just adding in however much garlic you want. Two tablespoons is what I added, or two teaspoons is what I added. Okay, this feels a bit chaotic, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm just gonna mix that up all together. Okay, and then you're gonna want to let this cook by itself, like this, on low temperature, low to medium temperature for about five to five and a half hours. Um, and then later on, when it, um, after the five and a half hours is complete, then we're gonna wanna add our grain and some extra greens. So after this is cooked for about five hours, we're gonna add the orzo. So here I have um, whole wheat orzo, you can substitute it for non-whole wheat, but I wanted to add some of the extra protein and fiber from whole wheat orzo. So I have about a half a cup here. And then um, we're gonna add kale. Um, you can also add in spinach if you want to here. So I'm gonna add about four cups of kale at the end. Um, and then just let it wilt in the hot liquid for um, about 30 minutes. So these two, the orzo and the kale, um, we're gonna add in for another 30 minutes after this is it's done cooking for a while. So it's been five and a half hours and the crock pot has been working its magic and we're gonna add the last ingredients which is the orzo, uncooked orzo, um, the kale, and then the juice of one lemon. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that now. It's actually smelling pretty good. Um, but I'm just gonna toss in this orzo, it's a half a cup. And again, the whole wheat version, but um, you don't have to use whole wheat, you can go ahead and use um, any orzo. You can also add in, um, I'm sure you can add in other types of grains as well. So if you wanted to add rice, you could. Um, you could add in um, pasta if you wanted to as well. I think that was not enough. Let me just. I love kale, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. Again, I'm mostly eyeballing everything. And then I'm gonna add one lemon for a little bit of citrus. So I'm just gonna let this um, continue cooking on high for 30 minutes. And then when 30 minutes is up, your dish should be complete. All right, so it's been 30 minutes and the orzo is all cooked. The kale looks nice and yummy. Hope you can see that there. Um, so I would top this dish if you want to with a bit of Parmesan cheese. Sometimes I'll even go crazy and add a little bit of avocado on top. Um, but this is a pretty simple, um, pretty minimal effort crock pot dish. Again, it's lemon, 
orzo chicken soup <laughs> and it's nice cozy and warm and a ton of of nutrients with the veggies um, dark leafy greens and, and lean proteins so i hope you fully enjoy this warm cup of soup cup of soup <laughs> and get ready for the fall weather thank you